An orphan whiner, a sorrowful cry out for milk. But it's not its mother that the much needed nourishment is coming from, but the staff at the Hoodsbreit Rehabilitation Center for Endangered Species. This is the grim reality of indiscriminate poaching, where rhinos are killed on the spot for their horns, often leaving the young calves in the care of rehabilitation centers. Fortunately, these young ones are on the mend, but with a traumatic encounter still fresh in their minds. Gerke was found in a nearby game reserve. Uh, mother was poached, they found him right next to her carcass and um, the vet then brought him to us where we didn't take care of him. And um, yeah, he's almost weaned at the moment, he's just over a year old now. And then Matimba, the smaller one, same story, also poached close by, I found next to the mother's body, also brought here by the vet and yeah, he's only six months old now, so he's still got another 10 months to go with the bottle. Kauke and Matimba have become accustomed to their minders. And a strong bond has been formed after the ordeal left them without their parents. Their daily sustenance comes in the form of this rich milk that they've become accustomed to. They were very dehydrated because they were found roughly about two or three days after the poaching with their parents. So when they came to us, we then had a constant feeding with them every 40, 30 minutes to 45 minutes, um, basically waking up, making sure that they you know, still fine, no, making sure they do not stress or anything like that, and then also then constantly feeding them. The park also looks after two older rhinos who were de-owned by poachers. Due to their injuries, they could not be integrated back into the wild because they are defenseless. The young ones, though, face better prospects. As far as it goes now, Matimba will be released back into the wild, so we limit human contact with him. It's only the people feeding him, basically. So that's the only contact he gets is when it's feeding time. And it's basically just to make sure that he won't go out and attack people once he is released. Rhinos are naturally territorial animals, but when faced with a determined poacher, the odds are sadly not in their favour. But there is hope that with the future release of these little ones, that fight will continue in strength one day at a time. Given the current levels of rhino poaching in South Africa, it's almost a certainty that more orphan rhinos will end up at this facility. But the work that's been done here to deal with the horrific consequences of poaching will likely go a long way in saving the threatened species. That was Andrew, CCTV, Hoodsprite.